11 Alive's Caitlin Ross shares some facts on Omicron. While there's still a lot we don't know, let's go through some of the top questions. First, are some of these COVID cases tied to the flu or vice versa? Compared to last year, we are seeing more cases of the flu in 2021. Let's break down those numbers. Since the beginning of October, the start of the flu season, Georgia reported 376 cases of flu, 30 hospitalizations, and three flu-related deaths. Compare those numbers to the spread of COVID. The number of people infected is 189 times higher for COVID. Hospitalizations are 294 times greater, and there's a whopping 877 times more COVID deaths. Pediatric ER doctor Taha Shakir says the symptoms can be confusing. I know plenty of people that had no respiratory symptoms, and they only had GI symptoms, and they ended up having COVID. Another question, how is Omicron different from other COVID variants? Dr. Shakir says it's more difficult to detect on rapid tests for people who are vaccinated. The Omicron variant does not always light up on every test. The reported symptoms are different too. People sick with Omicron are reporting runny nose, headache, fatigue, sore throat, but not losing their taste if sense or smell. There's also a lot of questions about the number of people who are vaccinated, boosted, and still getting sick. The most recent breakthrough case report came out just yesterday. It shows the number of vaccinated people testing positive is up more than 230 percent in the last month. But the greatest number of cases is among the unvaccinated, with the risk about double. Dr. Shakir says getting vaccinated is the best protection as they continue to learn more about this virus every day. Just like polio in the 40s, just like swine flu in the 20s, we are learning uh, about this virus in real time.